can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. It says uh, determine the location uh, centroid X and Y of the centroid of the wire. All right. So for this one, we have to use the uh, centroid of the road sort of the equation, right? So uh, I'm going to just uh, use this graph over here and maybe use the color red to come and draw on this one. So we're looking for, so x we already know, right? This is a symmetrical uh, graph, so we know it's 0. Uh, for x, right in the middle. So for y, it's like, you know, so this like a little distance over here, right, is something um, we're looking for. And, you know, because this rod is uniformly weighted, therefore the density is uniform throughout. Therefore, the volume and uh, and also extensive properties such as like meters and length is has a direct relationship uh, with the weight, right? Because it's uniform. Um, so yeah, this over here, let's call it um, wait, let's call it DL, right? So this one over here is you know this and this right this is the length so we can use the length over here and the length over here right so that would be and this length over here that's dy and this is dx right so um, let's write it in here real quick uh, dx square plus uh, dy square will give you the location of that area over here because it's infinitely small x and infinitely y, uh, y uh, right? And then you add them together, which just eventually comes to that one, right? We don't know which one it is, but um, here we go. So we can simplify this uh, by taking a d dx out. This is, you know, it doesn't matter for dy or dx, it depends the, uh, the uh, equation you're using, right? So, like, since this is a y over x square sort of equation, therefore, you know, using dy dx will give you a 2x equation, right? And then if you're doing dy dx dy, that means you have to simplify x to one side and take the derivative of dy. I mean, y, right? Since you already have one symbol, uh, alone by itself, so just take the derivative of the other symbol, right? So this is this comes really handy. So let's divide everything by d uh, dx dy, right? I mean everything by uh, yeah. So this would be one plus um, dy dx square, right? And this is dl over here. And then uh, using the sum of uh, the centroid equation, right, for calculus, this is the original equation that you have, I believe, dA. Yeah. So we can substitute, as I said earlier, we can substitute dA to dL. So x times dL over dL, right? So we already know what dL is. Um, let's just use x times uh, dL1 plus. Uh, dy over dx squared, right? Uh, this, wait, sorry. And this is a uh, dx over here, dx, right? And uh, over, sorry, you got a dx over here, and over um, d dl, which is uh, one plus dy. D, right. dy dx square and this is a dx and now it's just um, integral right taking the integral of these two um, since you know we're, we're doing we're going finding the y right and y is dependent on what x values you put in right so we have to look at you know the horizontal using the horizontal numbers because when we plug in like let's say three for x, it's gonna give us nine for y, right? That's what we care about. We can't 
use this this is you know the four feet we can only use that is when we're we're using the um, x equals square root of y um, equation or um, using dy instead of dx right so and dx you know dx is also infinitely a, a small amount of um, dx and sum of all of those together which you know for x direction that is negative 2 to 2 right so here negative 2 to 2 negative 2 to 2 um, put everything into a calculator um, or you can solve it by hand whichever you want because well this one is going to be a little hard so what uh, yeah dy dx already solved it over here we can just plug that um, plug this into this equation over here and this equation over here right and yeah you can solve it by hand or you can solve it um, using your calculator either way but um, either in the end you should have gotten uh, 1.8 uh, Two millimeters or feet. Sorry, in this one. So yeah, um, it's always good to practice uh, this one, right? Center of the wire is very different with the areas. Uh, it has a very different set of equations, I suppose. But um, yeah, I don't think your professor would take the chance. I mean, usually for a statics uh, exam, your professor would probably just put four to five. 46 questions so of the entire chapter maybe but if it's you know the final exams or like taking the exam for the past like say four or five chapters you guys did well then you know he's probably not going to put this this you know using uh, a wire sort of a question on the exam right he'll probably put composite composite shapes or which we're going to uh, get to in the future and or um, like center of the mass uh, of uh, a regular ship, right? Like, a, so instead of using finding the wire, it would just be the area under the graph over here and find the center of that area. But um, yeah, hopefully this video was helpful. Um, it's a very abstract concept, but hopefully it helped. And good luck in your studies. I'll see you in my future videos. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.